Here we go again. More seven days to die. Alpha 18. A one five two build. The junk turrets have infinite ammo build. Well, not really, but drum magazine on a junk turret has 169 rounds in it. Uh, the junk turret ammo stacks uh, over 900. So we're here at Higachi Pharmaceuticals. One of the frame rate destroying buildings in seven days that I. The upper areas with these small walkways tend to just destroy. So, woo, hello. Ooh, some fast boys. Let's give them the business. Uh, the small railing, railings and walkways in the upper levels tend to really, really <laughs> destroy uh, frame rates. Uh, getting quite a bit of ferals nowadays. What are we at? Game stage 124, level 48. 1833 enemy kills. I have a couple um, skill points chilling. Kind of thinking about fortitude and picking up like some of the machine gunner perks. Like I want to get the. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's get soldiers so we get stamina per shot scored so we can aim down sights all day with our machine gun. Ooh, munitions crate. Don't remember this being here. Uh, Dishon Tower and Higachi Pharmaceuticals, if I could find them in the map. Always one of the places that I really want to clear out. Feels funny not, not searching out um, the newer POIs and just kind of going for the old ones, but it's something I do for every playthrough. There's at least one business boy out here. So we did a round of traders, and in the trader's secret stash, we found this beauty. A rank six shotgun. And we stuck some, made, went back to base and made some mods. So we got rad remover, fork grip, the extended mag, and a choke. Uh, I was kind of torn. I was going to make some shotgun slugs for once, but I just made more 7.62. Probably do some more mining and uh, make some different types of ammo or explosives. Maybe some hand grenades. I don't know. Just got to play with some of the new stuff. Sticking to the tried and true known quantities so far. I don't know why I'm looting all this junk. I've seen a grand total of one toilet gun. What is this? A treasure map. We're close enough to our home base. Hopefully that's not 8,000 miles away. Um, trader quest that I did yesterday. It was a buried treasure quest. And I got some steel gloves out of it. You're outside with Mr. Wolfie. I don't feel like listening to you all day long. Goodbye. I'm going to angle on that wolf. Where'd he go? Don't know. Guess not. He's gone. So we're just gonna take our time, enjoy the ride in here. We'll even bring up uh, FPS counter. It's running much better today. I don't know why. 
If I say that, it dips to 25. I think there's a, yep, there's a safe down here. And since we are such a beast of a steel sledgehammer wielding person, we don't have to pick small safes anymore. We can just bash the, the dickens out of them. Ow! This one's a feral. Miss. You guys fighting on that cash register, huh? I think this one's a feral. No. One of them. <laughs> right over the counter. Really want to get uh, Healing Factor and Fortitude up. Healing Factor and what the hell's the other one? Pain Tolerance to get uh, Stun Immunity. But that's uh, that's going to take a while. Someone's going a bit nutty in there. Oh yeah, it's the guys up top. That had to hurt. Gotta castrate all the zombies so they can't breed. Right? Seems like a good idea. Always forget where the way up is. Here's some. I hear someone. I hear, 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 hear words. I hear someone. Don't know where they are. <sighs> yes. So loud. So angry. So far, this place is same, same. Nothing new. Still not liking some of these hitbox issues. I think it's actually being caused by the cleave. Where the cleave actually hits something. I found Mr. Wolfie. Oh, he's a jumpy boy. Is it over? It must be over there. Yep, I see a door with a light. A little light. Come on out. I know you're here. No? 
Okay. Check all this stuff. Really don't need to be checking all these cabinets. Should be checking trash though, because it's just so random. You never know what you're gonna get out of this Z trash. And it is a <clears throat> not a good source, but an okay source of ammo. Need a little bit here and there. But these uh what is this? Yucca seed? Sure. We'll have some coffee, we'll keep our goldenrod. Two gunpowder. Can never have enough gunpowder in the apocalypse. And then we'll scrap this other stuff. Pretty low on iron. Dumped a bunch into the forge. Back here? No. Dumped a bunch into the forge and then started making junk turret ammo. Just trying to figure out what a whole stack is now. Nice, nice graphical glitch there. So, I don't really want to go mining, but I really want more gunpowder. Hmm? Speedy boys. Get off me. Would you just die, sir? Thank you. No room in queue. Rotting flesh. We could be saving rotting flesh, but I think I'd rather just hunt around for and dig up some more uh, farm plots instead of just trying to save all the rotting flesh because you get it in such low quantities. It just doesn't seem like it's worth it. Now we cleaved him. And we didn't get hit. So I'll take it. Looks clumsy and sloppy, but if it works, it works. God bless the sledgehammer. No. 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 No crazy challenges. Like feed the don't feed the bears and kill stags and stuff. I'll do those because they just they happen passively. But yeah, rank six junk turret. What does this thing have for an ammo? Eighty-seven. That's ridiculous. Just slap the drum mag on that thing. And even without perks, it's got a just ridiculous magazine size. Anything good? A blood bag. <clears throat> Not so good. Not so good at all. We got one golden rod tea, so we can afford to drink these, and even if we get dysentery up in this, like we just got. I've never had dysentery, so what is, what is this? Treated dysentery. Reduces water and reduces food. All water and food consumed beyond the regular cap is lost, so you lose all your overeat bonus stuff. That's got bars on it. Ooh! Speedy boys! Keep in mind. Let's go peek in here. That'll teach me. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We just drink this, because we have one of these. I think it kind of backfired, but... Oh well. What is that? Grandpa's awesome sauce. So 
Dukes Casino tokens. Jars of Honey 5. What the hell does this do? Oh, it's better barter in a bottle. Five jars of honey, though. That's a lot. Now let's check some of these trash cans. File cabinets can have schematics. Usually they have paper, but they can't have schematics and magazines in them. You never know what you're going to get out of the trash. Backpack. Hunting rifle and some 7.62. Um, we might be in here a while, so we're just going to scrap the bullet casings. Even though we're just going to make them into bullet casings. Someone's very angry at a wall somewhere. I think this is a dead end. Yep, dead end. This is another point where I always just run around and circle for a bit. Usually walk right past where I'm supposed to go. Well, that explains it. Hmm. No, no. Damn it. Well, crap. Well, let's make some. No, let's just jump up. Screw it. I was going to say, let's make some ladders. But... We can just climb on up and probably fall again. I don't want to fall again. Oh boy, here we go. Got a crouch to get through. That is a nasty boy right there. It's getting busy. Spider is in here somewhere. Oh, here comes more. A lot more. Like, can't miss more. <laughs> Doing a little jiggle. His foot stuck in the stall. Compound crossbow schematic. Get on my face, darling. Oh my god. Frame rate, please come back. This is dipping to like 13. All right, then. Let's see what we got for food. I know I got some canned food on me. Speaking of canned food, meow meow. Meow chow. Wonderful. Don't have any more golden red tea. I do have some honey. I don't think that's going to help, but we'll have some of that. And we'll make a couple bandages. And let's get moving. This place is giant. 
Okay, did we get everybody out of here? Looks that way. Need all this stuff. I don't think I've made cement mix in quite a while. Just because I've been shoveling it. So I'm going to attempt to continue the trend. We do need cobble to uh, patch up some of the uh, walls at the prison there. But overall, it's been pretty good on the, the base building side. It's it's a lot slower. It requires a lot more, uh, a lot more cement mix. So picking something like the prison has been quite helpful. Um, just has a, a whole bunch of already uh, placed reinforced concrete. So we're just going to be so overloaded. We'll mitigate what we can here. Let's get our sledgehammer back out. Someone is going to come and whack us in the back of the head. So this is the building that I would always target. If I didn't get beakers by the time I hit like level 30. Because there are just so many med piles here. I think we got them all. Yeah, we got them all. Hello zombies. You stay in there. I'm right in his belly button. <clears throat> Pardon me. A little under the weather. That's a whole bunch of stuff we don't need. That's a little better, but not much. Gotta get the concrete. Should start making a bunch of steel. Once I'm happy with whatever building I have going and just reinforce everything up to steel. Because then I just have to mine iron to repair it instead of having to make freaking concrete mix. And um, steel reinforced concrete is about the only thing that can survive the new demolisher explosions. Some oil shell and glue, some nitrate, a whole bunch of plants, some gunpowder, and a beaker. I don't have a cooking pot, or I would just stop and make some um, goldenrod tea. <clears throat> Again, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not feeling very well, so. Probably sound terrible. Oh my god. Yay for cleave. Yay for knockdowns. That was a nice cleave. What do we got in the bookcase here? More challenges. What is this one? Man-eater? No. Kill the rabbit. That's kill rabbits with a shotgun, I believe. Yep, kill some rabbits with a shotgun. It's pretty ridiculous block damage that we got going. I'm quite happy with it. Yeah, that's two stun batons, so we'll just scrap both of them. It'll save us some space and probably lose us some money, but hey. Cement mixer schematic. We already know that one. Just never know what you're going to get out of some of these things now. That is the kill some stags one. Don't mind doing the ones that are all passives, you know, where they just happen. 
Don't really want to spend time. 10,000. All right, I guess we'll go through the glass. Come on. One more. Some vitamins. Quite a bit of vitamins out of here. Did we miss any meds? Any med piles? No. How we doing? Do we need some forged iron for repair kit? Uh, no. Should be good. Get out of the way. Damn it. Really want a better shovel, too. <laughs> that, the fact that it leaves, you know, does 180 or 190 damage and leaves that 10 points there just bothers the hell out of me. I wonder if putting a different mod in, like, uh, I don't know, the Stonebreaker mod, whatever the hell it's called, would make the difference as opposed to the uh, extra durability. All right, come on. Nope, yep. just some normals. There we go. Check the bathroom here. Use that bandage. Nothing in his suitcase. Turn our light back off. Thought it was going to be a bit darker in here. Are we carrying this stuff already? Bacon and eggs recipe. You know, I think I'm going to use that just in case. It counts the perk. Is already knowing it. I don't think it does, but more med piles. Coal, blue nitrate gunpowder, animal fat, and grain alcohol. Grain alcohol, iron, or oil shell, and God only knows what else. Stuff. Stuff. Painkillers. Gunpowder. Acid and painkillers. Meat stew. Alright, we gotta get rid of some of this stuff. Leave a little turd pile there. Someone's beating on something. I don't know where you are. Power attacking with the shovel. There's quite a bit of this stuff in here. It's far more, um, far more than I thought there'd be. There's oil and painkillers. Trash. Yeah, we've got over 1,200 cement so far, so it's worth it. It's just kind of boring and takes a bit of time, takes you out of the, the flow. Where this guy is. It's fourth floor. Hi there. Was it you I was looking for? Brass radiator and some cash. Yep. That was the boy that was making a noise. It's just beating on walls. Fifth floor. Chemical Depot. Lots of enemies and incoming FPS drops. They can't seem to find their way around these railings very well. See this gentleman, he's just stuck beating on something because he's next to some stairs with some railings on it.
<laughs> we hit the trash instead of the zombies. I'm not calling you trash, Mr. Zombie. Ding. My aim's getting worse. If that's even possible. I don't see anybody coming, but that didn't mean anything. Pharaoh can scream down that little hallway pretty quick. There's the secret stash in there. One of them in the building here. So much junk I don't want. So much junk I want to keep. Whole day. It's gonna burn a whole day just clearing this building because I'm kind of being thorough. I'm I'm not just skipping to the uh, the one times and uh, and going for the end loot. But it's getting more and more frustrating because I gotta keep 31 golden rod. So I gotta keep going into my inventory just to get rid of stuff. Like I feel like. I should have been keeping all the golden rod and stuff now. Hey, Magnum schematic. Take that and throw the coal away. Throw the coal away. Another beaker. Some gunpowder. There's some more golden rod. It's 38 so far. Probably more. Like this area causes a boatload of lag. And it's due to how the zombies calculate pathing. No, hit the crate. Another rank six junk turret. This is something that they could definitely um, work on. Yeah, we're, we're dipping all the way down to 16. Really should just press through the area, but... We're going to take everything we can out of this place. Because we're not coming back. Not leaving till it's done either. Come on. Hit the blue thing. There you go. So yeah, this part is definitely going to look bad. Get up, get up, get up. Just want to get out of this room. I'm not even swinging where I think I'm swinging. It's pretty bad. I, I hear them thumping all around me. With no idea where they actually are. There's one. Cowboy Bob. We were just in that corner. What am I doing? I don't know where you are, but you are making a lot of noise. Um, yeah, those are worth like 400, so we'll keep those. We did find some rank 6 military gloves. Same same day we found the Frank Six Steel ones. Hmm. Must get out of this breaking room. There we go. Back to double digit FPS. <laughs> oh, 
Nope. That's the wrong tool. Get back in here and get these boxes. Another hidden stash. Hey, a rank 5 SMG. I've seen a grand total of two submachine guns. And I don't remember that landmine being there. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Lots of hidden stashes in this building. And it's getting late. Thirsty. Well, I guess the dysentery did take its toll, and I have been swinging the hammer quite a bit. I tend to fill up on all this junk before I start so I don't have to worry about it while I'm running around. Oh wow, our our water was really low. Oh man, yucca seed recipe. Use that. Well then, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, one mechanical part. I guess we don't need you. And keep all the aloe cream because we can make uh, first aid bandages. Guess we could fire some 762 to get another inventory slot or maybe just reload. Oh, yeah, just reload. Just grab some nails. This secret stash. Hey, some more ammo. Rip inventory slots. All oh, the cement is coming with me. Get up to the office here. I'm gonna check the sink. Asset carrying that. And we're not carrying any bottled water. All right, nothing in the bookshelf. Come on, stop bouncing your head off stuff. DNA testing. Here we go. You boys dead? Nope. Nope, oh, it's Darlene, not the other construction worker. We're bleeding. We're not bleeding. No, we're not use. Damn it. Don't think we're gonna need our frames for a while, so. Even though it's gonna cost us an inventory slot, I don't care. I'd rather have the bandages handy. It's now nighttime. So that means this is gone at least 40 minutes. Guess I'll try and push through to the end here. We'll keep that potato seed though. So we got one inventory slot. We'll probably get rid of some other stuff. Uh, anybody in here? No. Go up, check the office, control room, whatever it's supposed to be. Nope. Nothing up here. Nothing ever up here. All right. Let's take care of this hallway. Come on out, boys. Mm. 
Get off tubby boys. Should have brought more ammo for this thing. Won't be running around at night. Alright, let's check these. Glass jars. No. Yep. Don't want any of this stuff. Yeah, I'm not even screwing around with this room. There's usually a big, big fatty or two in there. No policeman officer to puke all over the place, huh? Probably could have finished him off the sledge, save the ammo. Alright. Up we go. Almost there. Been going pretty slow, because usually I'll make it at least this far before nighttime if I start early enough. Double check, make sure nobody's in here. No. Nope. Check the corners. I can afford to miss a few things of cobble, huh? Yeah? All right. Outside of time. Get our frames back out because I don't trust myself. I'm going to fall. It's an easy jump, but why take the chance? Why take the chance when you don't have to? There's another fun ass hallway. All right, back is clear. Miss. Gotcha. No? Pre collapsed. They need to fix this building. All right, is anybody in here? No. Two in the other room. Three. Two are down. Now three are down. There's at least two in this room. Get out of the way. One less. It's two. And then three. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Let's get this ball safe. Junk. Like, you can just go away because I don't have room for your pieces parts. Even though those marksman rifles are pretty darn rare, we did find a rank six one if we ever want to use it. Come on out. That went pretty well. Don't want your nitrate. And that's worth quite a bit. What can we get rid of? Do you stack? You stack. 
Should I throw them away? Bleh. All right, so use. And we'll make one more bandage and we'll keep our, you know, one inventory slot. There's a nice military helmet. Probably just end up scrapping it. Oh, it's a party in here. If you're going to be that sleepy, I'll take advantage of it. I'm glad I got some free shots on these guys, because that's quite a few of them. You're not dead. I must have somehow AoE knocked her down, because I kept stepping over her. We got 94 glass jars on us from one, one run out and loot. Tons of glass jars out of this place. All right, it's roof time. We are finally almost done. Almost, but not not done yet. Uh, motor tool parts. I'll never make a motor tool. I don't think. I can live without some glass jars, though. For some a rare thing that I might or might not do. I'm gonna scrap that pickaxe though. He's just relaxing. He's got his feet up. You guys losing your minds over here because this is stairs with a railing on it? Yep. She slid right under. That is good cleave. Come on. Come on. Come on, computer. You could do it. We're almost there. Nope. That's a big miss. He's not dead. And then his buddy's just up there on the pole being weird. Almost done. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna reload. You're damn right I'm gonna reload. I know what's waiting up here for me. A few less zombies than there normally are. Collapsed bits of the building. That really should not be collapsed. Secret stash. Eh, we don't know this one. 10% more damage against coyotes. 10% more damage against coyotes. Bunch of pop of pills chests. Well, let's check the big one first. Take a drink. Stay hydrated. Holy crap, this is a long one. Come on, open the box. Of course you would break your lockpick at the last second. Get in there. 
uh, it's a whole bunch of stuff I want to take with me. Uh, some of it's coming, some of it's not. Um, do I have anything that I don't want to take? Oh, I want all that other stuff. Uh, more junk turrets. Let's grab some of this stuff. Because we do need the iron. It's in the med supplies. I probably should have kept that splint for the way down, but we have no inventory space. One one plastic in a lab equipment box. That's just garbage. Six paper. Oil shale and more glass jars. The loot from this building, unless you get beakers, is always pretty crap. It gives you a lot of stuff. It really does. Like, if you're able to keep all the, like, 38 golden rods, uh, tons of painkillers and aloe vera for making bandages, beakers, coal. So, it's worth doing, and it's fun building. It's just, uh, the end loot isn't all it's cracked up to be. Because you get more loot out of like med piles than you do out of some of these lab equipment boxes so anyways i'm gonna leave it there figure out what i can take with me and what i can't but it's been long enough so that's higachi pharmaceuticals so if you watch this and all of this thanks for watching